Hello, everybody. I just wanted to record this really quick to join in the National Gardening Week fun. And uh, got to thank, of course, Erica's little Welsh garden and uh, Liz Zorab um, from the Bither Farm. The Bither? Yeah. Is it Bither or Bither? I'm not sure. But uh, I figured I'd throw my little uh, channel into the mix here and uh, tell you why I do this. Um, unfortunately, I currently don't have a full garden. I've got a large bay window and uh, my uh, small window shelf over in the uh, kitchen area that has my orchids in it. Um, but uh, I do this... Uh, I guess the main reason I think I actually started this was um, because we can't have pets where we live currently. And uh, so I needed something to uh, make me happy that uh, <laughs> kind of takes the place of pets. And so I decided to adopt a bunch of herbs and plants as my new pets in a way. That's essentially the reason I think I started doing this um, because I've only been doing it for the you know the last uh, four or five years um, since we've been living in this flat and uh, yeah I mean uh, it's the hardest thing that I've had to deal with being over here in, in some ways is not being able to hold family of course but also not having any pets and we're definitely are still looking at wanting to move from where we're at in order to get a full garden and have pets and things like that um, but in the meantime, I've got my lovely little herb garden over here, and, uh, I, you know, put all my love into them and get them to grow beautifully, and they're all looking fabulous right now, uh, with a couple of small exceptions. I've had to replant a cup of my mint, and, um, one other guy, too, I, I'm gonna have to replant the, some of the thyme and the chocolate mints. Both the mints didn't do good because I planted them too early, and they, uh, they just didn't like the cold snap that happened, so I had to start over again with them. And uh, who's the other guy? I can't see him. <gasps> oh, the Tulsi basil. The Tulsi basil didn't like it either, so I had to replant the Tulsi basil as well. Otherwise, everybody else is looking fabulous. Um, they're huge right now. I'm going to do my May update soon, and you'll be able to see all these guys looking marvelous. I think the main thing about the herbs is... If you're going to start them in the winter, you have to have grow lights and you have to have possibly a heating pad because herbs, most of them love a decent amount of heat and they love having a good amount of light. So, um, you know, obviously there, there's ranges to that. You don't want to go too hot. Um, so, if, I mean, if it's getting over 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which I think is around 30 to 28 degrees um, Celsius area, um, then you're getting to an area where it's too hot and you maybe want to put them more in a more er an area that's not going to overheat. And the same thing with the sun. It's like they can absorb tons of sun. If you're going to have your grow lights on them, you can go 12 hours to 16 hours when they're first starting. Uh, so, I mean, you can put tons of sun on them and they will love it. Um, otherwise, if you are um, getting your herbs going, uh, once they've gotten started and they've got, you know, a little bit like an inch of growth, you can cut the light down to, you know, 10 hours to 12 hours and uh, that's that'll that'll be fine under grow lights. If you, uh, But in the regular hours of regular sun, if you're not using grow lights, you want to get them as much as possible because they will just soak it up and they will love it and they'll grow bigger because they have lots of sun. So get them as much exposure as you can um, when it's in the uh, spring to summer months and they will love you for it. So that's my biggest thing with herbs is making sure they're getting lots of light. And then also watch out for overwatering. Some can handle tons of water. My dill, I can water that sucker every day and he's happy. Um, but other ones like the basil, um, until it gets really big, it still doesn't like necessarily getting watered every day. Um, and if I do water it every day, I just very little amount. So, um, just be very careful because overwatering is one of the biggest culprits when you're going to lose an herb. Um, so, uh, just be careful with that, I think. Um, yeah, those are the main things. Watch out for overwatering. Lots and lots of light, 
Um, there's other variables around that. Of course, you're giving them plant food and uh, different you know, and such, and you want to rotate them um, so they don't grow too to uh, one direction. That's if you're growing them indoors, like I do. If you grow them in, in a planter, how are you going to rotate them? That's you know, hey. Uh, <laughs> but that's that's uh, that's it. That's my little tip for the day. If you want any more herb information, uh, you know, ask me questions and other things like that. But Happy National Gardening Week, folks. Have a good one.